This September, Tom Felton unexpectedly made headlines. They weren't about Harry Potter nostalgia or a new role. The actor was rushed to hospital after having a seizure and collapsing right in front of fans at a golf tournament. We still don't know what exactly caused this scary episode. Could it be because of career-related stress? After all, the actor has never been able to separate himself from his Draco Malfoy fame. Right after the Harry Potter series ended, Felton wanted to try something new. And he decided to become a rapper, thinking he could be the next Eminem. If, he, if Eminem was here, we could do a little duet. Oh, yeah, know? yeah. Be mini, mini Eminem. Tom released a few albums and created a YouTube channel under the moniker Felt Beats. But his music wasn't very successful. And on the acting front, things weren't any better. While his co-stars tried to choose roles that differed as much as possible from their Potterverse parts, Tom's first post-Draco character in Rise of the Planet of the Apes was pretty much another version of Malfoy. The actor didn't mind being typecast as a villain. But even his readiness to play similar characters didn't help him. Soon, Felton realized that directors weren't exactly running to him with offers. Tom felt like he was thrown into the ocean with no life vest, and he'd forgotten how to swim. For 10 years, all he had to do was fill in the blanks between making Harry Potter films. And when the series was over, it was time to adjust to his new reality. A reality where a magic wand wouldn't help him get what he wanted. Felton went to one audition after the other, and he realized that he got more nervous now than when he was a kid. Getting rejected was heartbreaking. Tom felt so disoriented that he even thought about retiring from acting altogether. Think about it, he went to 19 auditions before he finally got a part in the 20th. And once again, it wasn't a dream come true. That movie, titled The Operation, became a box office flop. Many other movies in which Tom starred failed as well. It seemed like all hope was lost. At some point, Tom started missing his Potterverse past. I'm, I'm in my room every night just casting spells. I just miss it that much, you know. Um. The actor said that if any sequel or reboot happened, he was ready to return to his role or play Draco's father. Do I feel slightly possessive over the character of Draco? Absolutely. Or Lucius or whatever it may be. And to give him the chance, the hair will go back to blonde. To recapture some of the magic, the actor recently arranged a Harry Potter marathon for himself. Tom used to say that he planned to re-watch the series with his kids, but he couldn't wait any longer. The Harry Potter series has definitely been the highlight of Tom's career. And yet, those years weren't so easy. The actor once admitted that he detested the series for depriving him of his childhood. After all, Tom was only 12 when he became a star. Initially, he auditioned for Harry, but the casting crew quickly realized that he'd been a perfect Draco. His friends and family tried to convince him that it was worth it. Yes, he got the fame and the money, but the price he paid was his teen years. The idea of being famous is a lot better than the reality. It's fantastic when you go to premieres and people cheer you, but it's not real. What's more, Tom didn't have any freedom during his 10 years in the series. He couldn't take part in any other projects. Even slightly dangerous activities such as skiing were prohibited. And he wasn't even allowed to get a tan or keep his own hair color. My hair was bleach blonde for for 10 years, so it's a marvel I have any left at all. Really. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is the problem with the hair. It was like a, a beacon. For, for Harry Potter fans, it's, it's like luminous, literally. Another challenge was fans who thought Tom was just like his character. While in real life, the actor is very different from Draco Malfoy. It took him years to show his funny and kind nature to his fans. And to learn to live just like a regular guy. I'm lucky enough uh, uh, that I live a, a very normal life. I walk my dog in the park every day. However, the news about his health could not escape headlines. Thankfully, he started recovering quickly. 
And to set his pants at ease, the actor posted a thank you video. Yeah, a bit of a scary episode, really. <laughs> but uh, on the mend, um, people have been looking, taking really good care of me. So thank you very much for anyone that has sent messages of get well soon. Everyone was relieved to find out that Tom was doing better. And it looks like things are improving career-wise as well. Recently, he appeared in a family horror, A Babysitter's Guide to Monster Hunting, and the war film The Forgotten Battle. Both received pretty good reviews from the critics. And these days, Felton is working on a biopic titled Canyon del Muerto. Like any other series fan, Tom is beyond excited about the upcoming Harry Potter reunion. But his dreams and aspirations reach further than Potterverse. Tom once shared that playing James Bond or a Bond villain was why he wanted to do movies in the first place. It might require tons of effort and a dash of magic. But nothing is impossible in Hollywood, especially when you know a few spells. Follow your dreams.